Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve proportions with decimals. We will use cross multiplication to solve these. Let's jump into number one, where we have x to 9 tenths equals 18 and 8 tenths to 3 and 6 tenths. Let's start by cross multiplying, so multiplying diagonally. First, we'll do x times 3 and 6 tenths. We can write this as 3 and 6 tenths x. Bring down our equal sign, and then we have 9 tenths times 18 and 8 tenths. So 9 tenths times 18 and 8 tenths. I'm going to use parentheses to represent multiplication. That way, there isn't any confusion between x's used for variables and x's used to represent multiplication. Another common way to represent multiplication is to use a dot. This is a good option to use as well. Just make sure it cannot be confused as a decimal. Keep in mind, there are different ways to represent multiplication. Use what works for you, just be careful to avoid any confusion. Whatever you use, just make sure it is clear that it is multiplication. Now let's multiply, so 9 tenths times 18 and 8 tenths. We can bring down the 3 and 6 tenths times x. 9 tenths times 18 and 8 tenths, well that gives us 16 and 92 hundredths. Now we have a one-step equation that we can solve for x, so we need to isolate that variable of x. We can do that by dividing both sides by 3 and 6 tenths. So divide by 3 and 6 tenths, and divide by 3 and 6 tenths. 3 and 6 tenths x divided by 3 and 6 tenths gives us x, and then 16 and 92 hundredths divided by 3 and 6 tenths gives us 4 and 7 tenths. So x equals 4 and 7 tenths. Now something I do want to mention about using cross multiplication to solve proportions, don't get too held up on what numbers to multiply first or which diagonal you should put on which side of the equal sign. It will all work out the same either way. Just make sure to multiply diagonally and have the equal sign in between your cross products. Let's move on to number two, where we have four and 35 hundredths to seven and nine tenths equals x to 10 and 41 hundredths. Let's cross multiply, so multiply diagonally. We'll start with four and 35 hundredths times 10 and 41 hundredths. So four and 35 hundredths times 10 and 41 hundredths equals, and then we have seven and nine tenths times x, which we can write as seven and nine tenths x. Now we can multiply. So we have four and 35 hundredths times 10 and 41 hundredths. That gives us 45 and 2,835 ten thousandths. We can bring our equal sign and then seven and nine tenths x down as well. Now we have a one step equation that we can solve for x. So we need to isolate that variable of x. We do that by dividing both sides by seven and nine tenths. 7 and 9 tenths x divided by 7 and 9 tenths will isolate that variable. We need to do it to both sides to keep this balanced. So again, 7 and 9 tenths x divided by 7 and 9 tenths isolates our x. And then we have 45 and 2,835 ten thousandths divided by 7 and 9 tenths. 
This is going to give us a decimal that has digits that repeat. So I'm just going to write it to the thousandths place, and then we will round to the hundredths. This gives us five and 732 thousandths. And again, that decimal actually has digits that repeat, so it goes on forever. I cut it off after the thousandths, and then we are going to round to the hundredths. So we will round to the hundredths. We have a three in the hundredths with a two to the right in the thousandths. That means we keep the digit in the hundredths the same. I'm going to rewrite this with X coming first. X is approximately five and 73 hundredths. And I used the approximate sign there because we had to round that decimal. Again, that decimal ended up having repeating digits, so we needed to round. If you get a long decimal or a decimal that repeats, you can always round it to a given place. So there you have it. There's how you solve proportions with decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.